Hi, this is Gary with Alden American. Today we're here with Ryan Hill. Ryan Hill is with Hillco and Hillco supplies us with all of our nuts and bolts. This chassis is Ryan's first car. It's a 1966 Pontiac Tempest. He got the car in 1987, drove it for many years, wore the car out. It's been blown apart to make it into a nice car. As you can see, the chassis has been powder coated. We've got all of these parts laid out and we're gonna show you how we install them. So all of these parts on the ground belong to this chassis. Follow along as we assemble the chassis. Like, subscribe. So Ryan, check out all the parts we've got for your project. We've got the Performance Online coilover control arms. We've got the Alden American coilover kit. You can see we also have the Headman Swap in a Box LS kit. Includes the headers, the oil pan, the motor mounts, all of that, it's a real nice kit. We've got new steering linkage, a new quick ratio steering box. We've got the uh, Performance Online disc brake kit, including the Hydro Boost. We've got the sway bars from Performance Online. We've got the uh, Curry trailing arms, the Curry rear axle. And check out this fuel tank. I really like this fuel tank. It's from Tanks Inc. And what's nice about it is it's already set up for the fuel injection. So we just drop our little module there that has the fuel pump and the sending unit and everything drops in there. The other side is your gas gauge, fits in the car, bolts in, it's a real nice kit. So we're gonna put the front suspension together. I've got Ryan, the owner of the car. I've got Alan. We're gonna throw this suspension together. We're gonna do the upper, the lower A-arms, the coilover kit, sway bar, steering linkage. We're gonna get this whole front corner together. So now we're gonna assemble our upper A-arms. So we're using non-locking nuts because these new bolts have got splines so that it keeps the bolt from turning when you're doing your alignment. So we're using non-locking bolts to get the spline set and so that it makes it easier to assemble. But before we go to alignment, we'll change those out and use the correct locking nuts. We're using our RCX series black anodized shock and it's a double adjustable. The bottom is our compression, there's six points. The top has 20 points, but in order to assemble it, we're gonna have to remove our knob, remove our nut, remove our washer, and now we can assemble it. So now we're gonna install our lower control arms with our new hardware. The next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna install our spindles. So the Performance Online spindles come assembled with the rotors and the calipers and everything assembled, but there's no wheel bearing grease. We've already greased our wheel bearings. We've set our wheel bearings. Now we're gonna install the spindles. So now we're gonna install our steering linkage. We're doing the steering box, pitman arm, idler arm, tie rod ends, and center link. So now we're gonna install our sway bar. This is the Performance Online inch and a quarter sway bar and it's hollow, so it's a much lighter weight than a solid bar. When we powder coated the frame, there's powder coat inside the thread. So what we're gonna use is a thread chaser, not a tap, to clean the powder coat out of the threads. So now we're gonna to move to the back of the car. We're gonna put our Curry trailing arms, our Curry rear axle, and our trailing arm braces. Follow along and see how we do it. So 
now we're going to install our double adjustable rear shocks like the fronts. It's the black anodized, so it is the regulator series that's available as a custom order. So you've seen how we've done the installation on all the stuff in the rear. We've got our Curry 9-inch rear axle assembled and all the Curry trailing arms. We've got the coilover kits in here. Now all we have to do is torque everything down, set our pinion angle, and we're ready for the next step on this car. I want to thank my buddy Alan for helping out on this assembly. Having the second set of hands was a great help.